Oh. Oh. Hi, Eastern Europe fans. On our last episode, we went to the worst reviewed bar in the Czech Republic. Apparently, we ended up wasted sleeping enough near garbage cans. My grandmother used to say that the best cure for a hangover was a nice bowl of pig's head soup. I disagree. I personally like a strong coffee and something sweet whenever I feel like I got ran over by a truck. Let's grab a coffee then. Where? <laughs> I don't need to tell you that. Alright, let the search for the worst reviewed cafe begin. We're finally in a country that uses Yelp, the Czech Republic. Let's type coffee and tea here. Two things I need badly right now. Alright, sort by highest rated. The problem with Yelp is that you find businesses with one or two reviews. So we're looking for a cafe that has at least 10 reviews so we are sure that we're going to a bad place. Oh yeah, it's right in front of my eyes. Cafe Bar Trinity. One star. For the first time in this series, we're going to a place that has the lowest possible rating. What do you want? No, I don't want it. No, I don't want it. Are you No. Are you I gotta go to TripAdvisor to check if it's really that bad because TripAdvisor usually has more reviews. Oh my god, I cannot believe this. It's the worst reviewed cafe on TripAdvisor as well! Well, now we're pretty sure we have never been to a place this bad on this series. The photos look pretty normal, so let's check the reviews and find out why Cafe Trinity is probably the worst place in Eastern Europe. The bill came, I paid and the waitstaff demands a chip. I was going to give standard 20%, he demanded more, he was very rude about it, he would not let me stand up until I gave him more. I barely give negative feedback, but people in this place treated us with disrespect. I ordered two of the same dessert and server responded with no you said one! Worst service ever, these assholes should be deported to Syria, horrific food on top of that. They really don't belong here in the beautiful city of Just Praha. Just paid 11 pounds for a single glass of orange juice. If the overall experience had been a good one, I wouldn't be so infuriated by this. Don't the go here. Tourist trap. That service and way overpriced. We needed a quick coffee while it was raining and it came out like a giant cup of warm milk. Not worth it. This reminds me of the Prasiatko restaurant that we visited in Slovakia about a month ago. The worst reviewed restaurant in Slovakia but 10 times worse. Root staff, very, very overpriced, shady. Well, this is gonna be an experience. I'm not sure if I'm looking forward, but I gotta have my coffee and something sweet. So I'm gonna wash my cameraman and head to the worst reviewed cafe in the Czech Republic. Let's go. Suffering from a strong hangover, we got on a tram, poured ourselves some reviving vodka and got ready for the worst cafe in the Czech Republic. We're in front uh, of the rotating head of Franz Kafka, one of the Prague's landmarks here in the city center. Reminds me of my childhood when my daddy strangled my mother and her head was kind of rotating. Ah, good old times here in Eastern Europe. We're like one minute away from uh, the worst reviewed cafe here in the Czech Republic. Let's have some overpriced espresso and a dessert. Let's go. We're in the heart of Prague. This cannot get more central. We're in the center of a city center and uh, I can already see Cafe Trinity in front of us. We may be entering the biggest tourist trap in Eastern Europe. My wallet is going to cry soon. Let's go. By the way, we're pretending we're Americans again from Kentucky. This is an American with very strong Bulgarian roots. It's so expensive. All right. Ready or not? Yes. Um, I'd like to have an espresso. Yeah. For me, cappuccino. Yeah. And uh, we'll probably pick some dessert in a few minutes. Okay. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you. Two things that I gotta tell you right now. This is 
incredibly expensive incredibly expensive beer costs 4.5 euros here the juices or or non-alcoholic beverage costs like 4 euros coffee is 4 euros um, espresso is almost 5 euros here and the desserts there are like 7 to 8 euros each but maybe it will be the best dessert of our lives the second thing that I noticed uh, is that the staff is again not as rude as we expected so far so good smiling helpful not pushing not great not terrible not great not terrible 3.6 now actually the staff is great so far espresso here thank you Thank you. Uh, we need like two oh. more minutes to pick the dessert. Only Thank two. you. Three. Such a funny guy. Such a funny guy. Do you want my sugar as well? Oh, sure. fuck me. In the south part of Kentucky, from where Vlad is from, they put three sugars in one cappuccino. Apparently. I'm not a coffee guy, but I think the coffee is good. It should be fucking good when it costs four euros. How's the cappuccino? Give me just a second. Not great, not terrible. Not, it's a normal cappuccino. Normal cappuccino, right? I wonder if there ever was a godlike cappuccino. What can be inside a godlike cappuccino? You're drinking it like water, man. So the coffee part is over. Let's uh, pick some really overpriced dessert. I'm gonna up for the tiramisu for 7.5 euros. And Vlad is gonna take uh, Trdlo or Trdelnik. Most tourists here think that this is a, a pure Czech thing, but in fact it isn't. There's also um, a shop with, that sells Trdelniks right behind us, and we're very curious if they're gonna buy one from there. And we're gonna check the prices there. It's literally like five steps away from us right now. All right, um, so I'm gonna have the tiramisu. Yes. And Go for me, Trdelnik. With Nutella. Yeah. Yeah, he go, he go right there. He's going there. He's going there. He's actually buying the Trdelnik right in that shop. I cannot believe this. They're buying it right in front of our eyes. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. Can I have one Take it? Yeah, you can take it. Thank you. Thank you. Yo. I cannot believe that this thing costs 4 euros. He bought it and he just uh, spread the Nutella inside. Yeah. Thank Get you very much. You're welcome, enjoy Thank it. you. Thank you. Mm. Good. I like it. It's not the best tiramisu I've ever had, but I would give it probably 3.6 out of 5. Not great, not terrible. Every time something is average, it's 3.6 out of 5. Not great, not terrible. Definitely not worth 95 Czech crowns. It's, it's dry. It shouldn't be this dry. This is not 3.6, probably 2.6. So more terrible than great. The ice cream here is, is bland. I'm decreasing the rating to 2.6 as well. More terrible than great, this tiramisu. I don't know what's the flavor of the ice cream, to be completely honest with you. It has no taste. Something like a vanilla with a little bit of... Nothing? Air? I'm thinking about all the reviews. There are basically only one star reviews of this cafe. What I don't understand is that when someone comes in here, he can have a look at the menu and see the prices. And if that person doesn't like the prices, he or she can just uh, leave. Like what's the point of staying here and paying that high prices? If you're if you're not happy with them and then be mad after paying that and leaving a review like this it's overpriced it is expensive but you can always check the menu first and then leave I don't get it I really don't get it I would just leave well this tiramisu definitely wasn't worth 171 Czech crowns I ate some desserts that cost this much and they were divine Gordon Ramsay like this was just a typical tiramisu with a very bad ice cream fresh orange juice for 159 crowns tea for 5 euros tea small sparkling water for 105 crowns 6 euros for one red bull 
it's a typical tourist trap. All right, uh, the last thing we're gonna try is a cocktail. Very overpriced, again. Let's have the most common cocktail of all of them. I've had many mojitos in my life, so I can, compare, I can compare this one to the others. Let's gonna end this with a mojito. More than 10 euros for, for any cocktail. If it's a double cocktail, it's almost 20 euros. I would expect to pay 20 euros for a drink, probably the best bar in the world somewhere in Singapore not in Prague this is way worse than the worst reviewed restaurant in Slovakia that we visited about a month ago can I order um, one mojito please yes small uh, yes yeah, small mojito okay just one that's it yeah that's it thank you so only just one. one yeah just one mojito okay thank you thank you very much you're welcome thank you you're welcome let's taste this is the worst mojito I've ever, I've ever had. It's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. Oh, fuck. It's like drinking uh, lime water. Or plain water. Plain water with a little bit of lime. We're paying $12 for <clears throat> this. There's no alcohol in here. Well, after the really nice experience and the worst review, bar here we're having a totally different experience in the worst reviewed cafe i'm being so negative right now but i'm it's so true. pissed off 12 dollars for this i cannot finish it it's like drinking water why would i finish it this sealed the deal the mojito convinced me that this is probably the worst place in eastern europe let's just get the bill and leave and tell them what they think about it. Okay, I'm gonna finish the mojito only because we need the servers to come outside. We've been waiting 10 minutes for the servers to show up because we wanna get the bill. Can we get the bill, please? Cash card. Uh, card. Really? Yes. <laughs> okay. Espresso, cappuccino, mojito, trdelník with Nutella and tiramisu. All right. 7.46, All right. service not included. 10% service is okay? Yes, 10% service. Thank you very much. Můžeme vám něco povědat? Určitě. My jsme z Ameriky, my chodíme po nejhorší hodnotených městech. Víte o tom, že toto je nejhorší hodnotená kaviaren v Československu? Podle vás nebo podle recenzí? Podle, podle, podle recenzí. Podle recenzí. Podle podle recenzí. Podle podle věřím, věřím tomu, věřím tomu, protože já teda můj osobní názor je ten, že když bude chtít někdo jakoby někoho pochválit, no. tak to není úplně tak... Že by jasně, bylo toužil, ano, jo? Ano, ale ano, když vás někdo naštve, jo? tak samozřejmě jasně. je to to. A, a oni jsou, to ľudia jsou naštvaní kvůli čemu, když vlastně oni přijdou sem a můžou si pozřít ty... Lebo je to drahé, je to velmi drahé. Samozřejmě je tady je to drahé je to, pro nájem všechno, Je to velmi drahé, ano. Ale ľudia to ale, vidí. Ale ľudia to vidí a napriek tomu tu ostanu a ano, potom ano, sú naštvaní, ano, to ano. trošku nedáva zmysel. Možno ten servis Fiji vie naštvať, alebo ja neviem. Ne, to sa nemyslím, to sa nemyslím. A kvôli Nebo čomu, takhle, lebo napríklad, takhle, to vy neviem. ste boli dneska super, usmievaví, všetko děkuju, perfektné. Děkuju, děkuju. Tak to ja teda být. nechci sa nejak počnáť, bo to, ale slyším to skoro denom denne, že to, že nevidím od čišníku, co by sa takhle smáli, nebo takhle mm -hmm. reagovali, nebo byli takhle to. Na jo? druhej strane, Takže, na te... druhej strane, mali sme také dva problémy. To mochito, to bylo asi nejhorší mochito, co jsem Tady to, pořád, tady to, jo. To bol, uh, jako bol, tam, bol tam alkohol. Bol tam alkohol. Bielna, bielna. Jednak jsem ho necítil a jednak to chutilo jako limetková voda. Mhm. Za, za ani 12 dolarů. Ani ten cukr nebyl cítit, ani ten cukr nebyl cítit. Druhá vec, trdelník. Můžem se spýtat, tu keď si někdo objedná trdelník, vy ho jdete sem koupit za 60 Kč. Ne koupit, to je stejná společnost, co patří k nám. To je stejná společnost. Tam nejenom o to, že když si člověk to chce se servisy, když to řeknu blbě, Aha, jasně. že si chce sednout a obsluhte mě, Aha. tak jsou takhle ty a máme jenom tyhle tři varianty. Taky přijou lidi a ptají se, jestli si můžou kopit tady trdlo a jít sem. A tak můžu, ale bude. Můžou za podmínky, že si dají trdlo. A vysvětlíte mi, kde jsou tu ty zlí čašníci, lebo já všade počulám a všade v těch recenziách je, že Hrozně hnusní čašníci a to jsou všetci v pohodě, všetci usměvaví. Já třeba, že... vemte si, že dneska jsem vám připadal v pohodě a včera Aha. přímo tady u toho stolu mi seděla paní, pravděpodobně Indie, bych typoval něco takového. Ano. Byla to malinká holčička, tak 6-7 let, ano. její maminka a její maminka. Aha, Seděli ano. tady, dcera celou dobu tady pobíhala po place, ano. s citronem, vykosala citron, zahodila, ano. prostě to bordě, nezajímalo nic, byla dovnitř ven. Říkám, ty že něco neřeknou. A jdu a platila paní 705 korun. Dali mi takhle dvě pěti stovky, dvou korunu, dvou korunu, korunu. A já na ní koukám a říkám, jako, že tomu nerozumím. Že jsem jí říkal, jako, že to, že cena je 705, 
proč teda mi dáme 1005, že je to, protože logicky já nechci dalších 5 korun, to radši vydám 95, než abych si bral a chodil tady s takovouhle kasírkou, jo, to taky nejde. Taky říkám jako, uh, proč mě to takhle připravila, tak jsem si i třeba v duchu říkal, že mi třeba řekne něco pro mě nebo takhle a ona mi říká, this 705, 300, give me back. Tak říkám, OK, a než se mi to dá, tak ona takhle vzala ten kůčtenku a spadla jí takhle dvou koruna na zem. A já říkám, sorry, only three crowns. A ona, yes, two crowns is down. Okay, no. Tak v tu chvíli si člověk říká, mm. tak jako co, mám to tady nějak, ano. jako, jako co mám dělat? Já jsem pracoval těž v reštauračním priemysle, ono je to někdy velmi těžké, když vám přijdou takýto hosti a být stále milonky a usmívavý. Já jsem opravdu velký flagmatý, takže já to hodně snesu. Ale jsou lidi, kteří to tolik nesnesou, vybouchnou. Například to... vaši kolegové jsou taky, že trošku jac, cholericky. Tady ty zrovna ne, tady, tady ty zrovna, zrovna ne. Ale, ale zrovna třeba ten jeden se na dovolený, mm-hmm. tak ten je trošku výbušnější ne, a ne to. Jo, taky tady na něj pán, tamhle stůl, stůl, posledního stůl, jako by nejdal stůl, tak na něj jako mával, tak jakože to. A nakonec, když viděš na něj ruská, tak ho prostě ignoroval, on přišel. A říkám jako, co já jsem si chtěl objednat? A on říká, nesem tvůj pes. Čiže v tomto máte už aj ten uh, service fee? Ne, 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 service not included. A not included? Not included, yes. Čiže já keby som napríklad nechcel, tak poviem, že neplatím. No jasný, no jasný, Aha, no takto. Přesně tak. Takto. Tak dajte tam ten servis. A povedzte potom na bare, že tie, to mochitko nech na budúce trošku. A ostatné podniky tu majú podobné ceny? Lebo je to dost drahé. No, já si myslím, že to, že asi tady možná budeme patřit mezi top. Děkujeme pěkně, na shled. Wow, this is the first time the reviews were actually true. Well, almost true. If it wasn't for the friendly server, I would give the worst reviewed cafe in the Czech Republic the lowest rating. But since I'm an angel, I'm giving Trinity Cafe two stars out of five. Wow, I think I'm getting a second job after this experience. Thanks for watching. An insane season finale coming soon. Goodbye, or as we say here in Eastern Europe, get the fucking camera out of my face. <laughs>